weekend away and this is reflected in the title of my video how's everybody doing i know i'm behind so much stuff i can't even get to my coffee i got an iced coffee and uh, i'm going to show you some things that are must-haves for our trip not your typical stuff and i'm going to show you what i got on my trip and uh what else am i gonna do i don't know let's get going all right so once a year, me and four other girls, so it's a total of five girls, get together, and we call ourselves the Soul Sisters, because we know each other all the way to the soul, and we still love each other. We've known each other 30 years. That tells you I'm a really old right. Okay, so anyway, one of the things that we do on the night that we get together is we give presents, and I don't know where that got started. You don't have to give presents. But we do, and we don't want to, like, you know, put a bunch of money in or any kind of heaviness or guilt or financial strain. So, there's just mainly kind of sentimental or has something to do with us. But anyway, so I will start with gift number one. And I'm not going to say these ladies' names because I'm not sure if they're okay with being named on um, YouTube. Brie. And so, we start with her present. It's so pretty. Look at this beautiful cobalt blue y'all know this is like one of my favorite colors and um she said happy birthday because we don't see each other all day long and um so there's this thing about a saying and i feel very strong about it too because i use this when i talk about uh sex trafficking uh women and children and infants that um if you can just help one of them that's enough you can't save the world only jesus can do that that sounded so southern. Jesus. But it's the truth. Um, but you can do your part. And so um, I, there was a, um, I don't know if it's a true thing that happened or it's just been passed around a whole bunch. But it's a, it's a cool story about a mother and a daughter who are walking on a beach after a hurricane. And um, so the, the storm at sea, it didn't come ashore. But it stormed, it turned up the seafloor, and uh, it, it took a turn. It never made it all the way in, so there wasn't damage inward like we have seen with Matthew and others. And pray for those people that, in Haiti, all, it just so much suffering. Just, mm, really do. Lift those people up and also get involved in what you feel you can do, okay? Whether it's prayers, whether it's giving to Red Cross, or that kind of thing. But anyway, so... Um, so they were walking on the beach and it turned up the, the floor of the sea. And so there's a whole bunch of starfish on, you know, the beach. And this woman's walking and all of a sudden she knows her daughter is not with her anymore. And she turns around and looks backward and her daughter is walking on the beach and she's throwing starfish back into the ocean. You know, just one right after another, one right after this, one right after another. And her mother comes and goes, honey, you can't save all these starfish. It, it doesn't matter. And she goes, what well, matters to this one? And she threw it into the sea. And if it's just the one that you can help, it matters, y'all. So do what you can. But because that's so important to us and, and uh, how we are encouraging each other to get involved in what we can do to help others, we, we really do encourage each other in that way. Or you gave us a, um, a beautiful decorative piece that is a starfish. Isn't that beautiful? And she chose blue as the color of the votive candle. Votive, is that how you say candle? Because of the sea, the ocean. I think that's beautiful. But if you think, well, you know, that doesn't really match my decor, you could always get white or cream or something that just kind of makes us very neutral. But just little pieces like this, even if you have like a traditional decor or something like that, but you put a piece like this that's just very sentimental and that really is neutral in that it is nature, it can go in any decor. So this is a really neat little present. And one of the things I'm telling y'all about these is that, um, and it comes with this little card that, you know, you can learn more about this particular piece. Um, anyway, and also it gives you 10% off if you should order from using that card. But also, this is gift giving, you know. So these are great gift giving ideas because everything I got, I love, love, love. One of the pieces, oh my gosh, I left it downstairs, y'all. One of the pieces, Gary, Gary. But anyway, um, she gave us each a snowman for your front door. I've got that downstairs with my Christmas stuff ready to go. I know y'all are like, 
Beth is not totally Thanksgiving yet. And I'm like, I know, I've, I've decorated for the fall. Thanksgiving's coming. But I'm, I'm ready for Christmas even. But it is a snowman door piece. It's kind of too big to show in here. But the top hat on the snowman is black glitter. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And it has a white snowflake on the cap. And it's white glitter. So, mm, I don't know. It's not going to go on my front door. Y'all, watch for when I do my backdrop. And it's going to be in there somehow, somehow. All right, so here's the next gift. This may be more than one part. All right, so here, this one's from Robin. And um, so she gave us um, this wonderful, I don't have one. I've given these as gifts before, but I personally do not have one. It's called The Promises of God Adult Coloring Book. And you guys, there's something fun about coloring as an adult. My best friend does it, LaDonna. And, um... She just, they, it's just fun to color, isn't it? it? You just, you don't ever outgrow that. So this is an adult coloring book. You can find them at Barnes & Noble and lots of other places. Probably your grocery store at this point. Uh, but this one is a Christian one. It says, you can trust God's promises. God knows you. He knows what you need. He has provided his promises in his word that give assurance and direction for every situation you face. These promises from God's word, combined with the beautiful artwork in this coloring book, will provide peace. And hope as you let go of fear and worry and anxiety and just color, color, color. Uh, whether you are a novice or experienced colorist, you will be able to reflect upon short quotations from the modern English version of the Bible as you color the richly detailed designs on every page. And y'all, it's just there. Just all kinds of just fun stuff. And um, it has scriptures over to the side. I don't know if y'all can see that. So again, this one's called The Promises of God Adult Coloring Book. And then... In case you didn't have colors, y'all know that I have markers. But she also gave us a full set of Colors New Elite. Um, one color is fluorescent. This is fluorescent. Um, coloring pencils. So you can do magic markers or coloring pencils. And y'all know that I love the sign of the butterfly. And look on the back, it's a butterfly. So that is neat. And then also she works for, um, well, I'm not going to say... This is going to give it away, though. She gave us a uh, Energizer Bunny. I love Energizer, but y'all know that little bunny that just keeps on going. He, he keeps drumming the, the drum. This is a, a charger for your phone. You plug this up and get this fully charged, and then you carry it in your purse. And this one is not a very heavy one. That's what I like about this. A lot of those are heavy. And um, then if your phone like ever runs out of power, then you hook your phone up to this. And it also came with this cute little pouch to keep in your purse. Or you could use this pouch for about a hundred other things. So I love that present. So that's one. Are these good presents? I think these are great presents. And also just the decor. That little zebra and then the silver and black ribbon and a black bag. It's just so pretty. Okay. So then here's the next one. All right, this one was, you know, it was from Leslie. And um, it's this beautiful, I love this um, kind of like a, just a neutral bag. And then it's got this beautiful French writing or whatever you call stationary writing on the tag. And this beautiful cream colored bow with these little um, gold polka dots. Oh my gosh, I love this. I love that. I'm going to use this for somebody else. So if you're one of my friends out there and you get this, you'd be like, mm -hmm, recycled. You should recycle. All right. She gave us a very cool gift, and I'm going to use this for my Bethy Bible devotion this weekend. And it's called Be Still and Let Your Nail Polish Dry. A Devo devotion for women on the go. And this is just a wonderful daily devotion. And one of the things we decided this weekend is not to pressure yourself about having to get up early and have a devotion with the Lord. Because a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, I just, I'm not that person. Maybe I'm not a Christian. That's not true. Um, most Christian women are very busy women because besides their families, they're very usually involved in their church and serving their husband and family. And so they're usually very busy women. And so God doesn't want you to be pressured in a relationship with Him. So, if you don't do this every day, that's fine. It's just nice to have some sort of a framework or structure that you can use for daily devotions. She said she didn't even pick this one up every single day. Sometimes she'll pick it up a couple of times a week. And really, that's how it should be. Your relationship with God should be daily. But a particular, specific, devotional time, 
um, with it, with this book, you know, you may have something else. Or you may just pick up the Bible and just read it and see if God speaks to your heart. Um, but I do recommend daily time with God because that's your friendship with Him, your relationship with Him. Just like if you're in a relationship with your husband or anybody else, your boyfriend or, or whatever, you build a relationship by having daily time. Daily, not weekly. You have daily time with someone when you really love them. And... Um, you know, and those of you who say, well, my husband travels. Well, you still have daily time on the phone. You still talk. You still interact with each other on a daily basis. That's what God does. And you can't make up with it, make up for it and say, you know, on Tuesday, that, oh, sorry I didn't talk to you Sunday or Monday. You know, let me backtrack and, and double up with you. It's like, well, no, it's daily. I mean, it's it's ongoing. So that God's the same way. He just wants daily time with you. So don't feel like he's something to check off your list, right? Anyway, I absolutely love this. We had a devotional time, and I'm going to also use what I learned from her. She's a very godly, um, wise young lady. And um, why is my Mac Fix Plus in this bag? I didn't even take it on the trip. Let's have thrown it in my bag. You know what? I must need some here. I love the smell of it. It is refreshing, y'all. I know you use it on your brushes to make your colors more vibrant, but it's just nice. Okay, so what else is in here? Oh, yes! Well, you can't have a daily devotional that talks about nail polish not give us nail polish. This is OPI. She gave each one of us a nail polish to go with the devotion. Isn't that a neat gift idea? I'm trying to give y'all some nifty gift ideas, too. This is OPI Infinite Shine number two, and the color is... Uh, girl without limits. And by the way, the um, names that she chose for each one of us girls, 